Chag Sameach, everyone. It is wonderful that we are able to gather virtually, even when we are not all able to gather in person for our first day of Shavuot service. We're going to begin on page 26, middle of the page, in our holiday prayer book, the one with the black border. We're going to start with Matovu. Matovu. Oh, you to read with me in the English. How beautiful are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. By your abounding kindness, dear God, I come into your house. With reverence I worship in your holy sanctuary. Dear God, I love your dwelling, the place where your glory abides. In the presence of my eternal creator, I bow low, bend my knee, and count my blessings. As for me, I will pray to you, dear God, at a desirable time. O oh God, by your great love, answer me with your saving truth. The blessings over the talit are on the top of 27. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu bemitzvotav, v'tzivanu lehit atef batzitzi. I invite you to read with me in the English on the bottom of 27. How precious is your abiding kindness, dear God. The children of humanity take refuge in the shelter of your wings. May they find satisfaction in the richness of your house. May you permit them to drink from your stream of delights. For within you is the fountain of life. In your light, we see light. Extend your abiding kindness to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright in heart. We continue on page 28, reading in the Hebrew and the English, blessings for our body and for our Torah. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher yatsar et ha'adam bechokma, uvaravo nekavim nekavim, chalubim chalubim. Galui veyadua lifnei chisech vodecha, she'im ipateach echad mehem, o yisatem echad mehem, i efshar lehit kayem la'amod lefanecha. Baruch ata Adonai rofech hol basar umafli la'asot. Blessed are you, eternal, our God, source of the universe, who formed our bodies with wisdom, creating within openings and passages life-sustaining organs of remarkable intricacy and of incredible design. We all know that if but one of them fails to function, it would be impossible to exist before you. Praised are you, eternal one, source of healing, whose actions are beyond amazement. And the blessing for our Torah on the bottom of 28. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu bemitzvotav, v'tzivanu la'asok bedivrei Torah. Blessed are you, eternal, our God, source of the universe, who has made us holy by your directives, and has directed us to be involved in making the teachings of your Torah real in our lives. We're on the top of page 29. <speaking in Hebrew>
Elohai neshama shenatata bi tehorahi. Elohai neshama shenatata bi tehorahi. Elohai neshama shenatata bi Dear God, the soul which you have given me is a pure one. You have created it, formed it, breathed it into me, and sustain it within me. Though I know that there will come a day when you will take it away from me, I trust that you will restore it to me in a future yet unknown. So long as I have breath, I will give thanks to you, O Eternal One, my God, and God of all ages, source of all creation, creator of all souls. Blessed are you, Eternal One, who restores life to mortal creatures. Baruch Shemar Olam Baruch Hu Baruch Hosev Hereshit Baruch Omer Veosev Baruch Gozer Umkayem Baruch merachem al ha'aretz, Baruch merachem al ha'briot, Baruch meshalem sachar tov lireav, Baruch ha'ilad rekayam la'netzah, Baruch podehu matzil, Baruch shemo. Baruch ata Adonai, Melech mehulal batishpachot. We're on page 31, the top of the page in the Hebrew. we continue to page 32 for Psalm 150. We begin at the bottom of the Hebrew with the lines kol hanshama tehalelyah. Those lines will repeat throughout the psalm. Kol hanshama tehalelyah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Kol hanshama tehalelyah, Hallelujah, 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 
צלצלי שמה, הללוה וצלצלי תרועה. הללוה וצלצלי שמה, הללוה וצלצלי תרועה. כל הנשמה תהלל יה, הללויה, הללויה. כל הנשמה תהלל יה, הללויה, הללויה. We continue in the Hebrew on page 33. Nishmat kol chai tevarech et shimcha Adonai Eloheinu Veruach kol basar tefa'er utromem Zichrecha malkenu tamid Min haolam v'yad haolam mata'el Umibaladecha emanu melech Voel humoshia pode humatzil ומפרנס ומרחם לכל עת צרה וצעקה, אין לנו מלך אלא אתה. האל ותעצומות הוא זכר, הגדול בכבוד שמך, הגיבור לנצח ונורא לנורותיך, המלך היושב על כיסא רם ונישא. Top of 34. שוכן עד מערום וקדוש שמו. וכתוב רננו צדיקים באדוני, לישרים נבט אליה, ופי ישרים תתרומם, ובדברי צדיקים תתברך, ובלשון חסידים תתקדש, וקרב תרושים תתעלל. ישבח שמך לעד מלכנו. האל המלך הגדול והקדוש בשמיים ובארץ. כי לך נאה אדוני אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו. שיר ושבחה הלל וזמרה, עוז וממשלה נצח גדולה, וגבורה תהילה ותפארת קדושה ומלכות. ברכות והודעות מעתה ויד עולם, ברוך אתה אדוני. אל מלך גדול בת ישפחות, אל ההודעות אדון הנפלאות, הבוחר בשירי זמרה מלך, אל חי העולמים. Because we're not all physically together for this service, we're going to jump over the Barachu and continue on the top of 36, reading together in the Hebrew and the English. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, יוצר אור ובורא חושך, עושה שלום ובורא את הכל. והאר עינינו ותורתך, ודבק ליבנו במצוותך, ויחל לבבינו ויחבה Bottom of 36. Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Venismecha Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Venismecha Hava Neranina Hava Neranina Hava Neranina Hava neranina, hava neranina, 
Come, let us be glad and rejoice. Come, let's sing and be happy. Awake, my friends, with a joyful heart. We're in the top of page 37. We're going to read together in the English. Top of 37. Bring us together in peace from the four corners of the earth and lead us upright to our land because you are the divine source of deliverance. You have selected us from all the other people for a special relationship and thankfully you have brought us close to your great name with truth. Blessings and praises are yours, dear God, whose love binds us, your people Israel, to you forever. We continue with the Shema in the middle of 37. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Ve'ahavta et Adonai Eloheinu Vehayu <laughs> Ukshartam leot ayadecha, veayulito tafot bene necha, uchtav tam al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha. We're in the middle of 38 in the Hebrew. Lemantis keru yasitem et kompiz votai, vitem kiroshim loechem, ani adonai loechem. Asher otzeiti etchem mi eretz mitzrayim liot lachem velohim ani Adonai lohechem Adonai lohechem emem. We continue on page thirty-nine with a special reading just for Shavuot. I invite you to join with me. Sinai is larger than mountain. Sinai is greater than a destination. Sinai is more than a rest on the journey. Sinai is a meeting place, an encounter, a conversation, an experience, a moment, an eternity, a window, a mirror, a book, a song. Sinai is a wedding of hearts and minds, of hands and eyes, of memories and dreams of sin and forgiveness, of compassion and expectation, of justice and mercy, of family and faith, of a God and of God's people. Sinai is freedom through responsibility, liberty through law, life through love. We continue on page 40. Sinai is where children become students, parents become teachers, Moses became a rabbi, and God's will became known. Sinai is where God's silent voice sounded, where God's thundering was seen, where God's rays were heard, where the earth shook and all was silent. Sinai is where the redeemed people assembled, facing the one who is before one and beyond all, and listened, followed, and understood. We continue to the bottom of 42. Mi chamocha ve'elim Adonai, mi chamocha nedar bakodesh, 
nor had she loved, O Sefeve. Shira Hadasha, Shibhu, Gulim, the Shimcha, Asfatayam, Yahad Kulamo, Duim, Lihu, Ve Amru, Adonai, Moh, Leolam, Vaed, Tur Israel, Kuma, Bezra, Israel, Uvde, Kinu, Mecha, Yehuda, Ve Israel, Go Aleinu, Adonai Tzvahot Shemo, Kedosh Yisrael, Baruch Ata Adonai Ga'al Yisrael. We continue with the Amidah, but because we are not together for this service, we'll be jumping over the Kedusha, which is pages 45 and 46. We begin on the bottom of 43. Adonai sepatatita ufia gitehi vatecha Oh dear God, open up my lips so that my mouth may declare your praises Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu vimoteinu Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Leah, Elohei Rachel, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Hanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasarim Tovim, Lekonei Hakov, Lezofer Chasei Avot Vimor, Mehaken <laughs> Mechaye ha kol berach kamim rabbi So mech noflim meropei cholim Umatihe hasurim Umekaye memunato Lichene afar Michamo ha-baal geburo Jump to the top of 47. Ledorador, 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 Nadinolata, Ledorador, 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 Nadinolata, Baruch 
Ata Adonai HaMelech HaKadosh. We bless you and praise you as the Holy King. We're going to flip ahead to page 51, 5 1. We join together at the top of the page in the Hebrew. Sim, sim, sim shalom, sim shalom tovahu bracha. Sim, sim, sim shalom tovahu bracha. Chein vaches and meracha mimadleinu ve'al kol Yisrael amecha. Barcheinu avinu kulanu kechad be'or panecha. Sim, sim, sim shalom, sim shalom nevahu bracha. Sim, sim. Sim shalom to avracha. Ki ve'or panecha natata lanu Adonai Eloheinu. Torad chayim ve'ahavad chesed u'zaka uvracha v'rachamim v'chayim v'shalom. Sim, sim. Sim shalom, sim shalom tova uvracha. Sim, sim, sim shalom tova uvracha. Vetov be'ene chalavarechet amcha, tamcha Yisrael. Mechol eit vechol sha'a. Mishlom Necha Sim, Sim, Sim Shalom Sim Shalom Tava Uvracha Sim, Sim, Sim Shalom Tova Uvracha Baruch Ata Adonai Ose HaShalom We bless and praise you, dear God as the one who establishes peace. We're in the middle of page 51. We read together the Hebrew and the English. Yiyu leratzon imrefi vehegyon libi lefanecha Adonai tsuri vegoali May all of the prayerful words which I have spoken or felt within my heart be acceptable to you, my God, because you are the rock that anchors me and the power that sets me free. Ose shalom limrama, uya ase shalom aleinu, ve'al koho Yisrael, ve'imru, ve'imru, amen. Yase shalom, yase shalom, Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael Yase Shalom Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael Ve'al Kol Yoshvei Tevel Ve'imeru Amen May the one who creates peace in the heavens above grant peace to us, to all Israel, to all who share this world, and let us say Amen because it is a holiday, the first day of Shavuot, we get to say Hallel. So I invite you to turn to page 52, bottom of the page, and we're going to recite the blessing for Hallel together. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Likro Et HaHallel We continue to Psalm 115, on page 53, 
Halfway through, it becomes call and response. But say to Israel, me, me, it's Rahim. Beit Yaakov, me, am the wells. But say to Israel, me, me, it's Rahim. Beit Yaakov, me, am the wells. Hey, ta, hey, ta, Yehuda, lekosho. Israel, mam shalotav, hayam ra'a, vayan ho'oz, hayarden, yisov le'achor. He harim, rak duche elim, gevaot kibne tzon, ma lecha hayam. Kitanus I arden Tisov le'achor Eharim Tirkenu chelim We continue in the Hebrew on fifty four. Hallelujah, Adonai, Kol Goim, Kol Goim, Shabku, Shabku, Kohaumim, Ki Gavar Aleinu, Aleinu Chas Dove Emet Adonai, Leolam Hallelujah, Hodu Adonai. Israel ki leolam ki leolam chasto yomruna 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 veit aharon ki leolam ki leolam chasto yomruna 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 yire adonai ki leolam ki we're on the bottom of 55. Ah, 
צדיקים יבואו זה השען אדוני צדיקים יבואו עודך, עודך, כי אני תהי, ותהי לי לישוע. עודך, עודך, כי אני תהי, ותהי לי לישוע. אבן מעשו הבונים, הייתה לראש פינה. אבן מעשו הבונים, הייתה לראש פינה. מאת אדוני הייתה זאת, היא נפלאת בעינינו. מאת אדוני הייתה זאת, היא נפלאת בעינינו. זה היום עשה אדוני. נגילה ונשמחה בו, זה היום עשה אדוני. נגילה ונשמחה בו, אנא אדוני הושיענם. אנא אדוני הושיענם. אנא אדוני הצליחנם. אנא אדוני הצליחה נא. ברוך הבא בשם אדוני ברכנוכם מבית אדוני. ברוך הבא בשם אדוני ברכנוכם מבית אדוני. אל אדוני ויאר לנו איסרו חג באבותים עד קרנות המזבח. אל אדוני ואר לנו איסרו חג באבותים עד קרנות המזבח. מידל אוף 57. אלי אתה ואודך, אלוהי הרוממך. אלי אתה ואודך, אלוהי הרוממך. הודו אדוני כי טוב, כי לעולם חסדו. הודו לאדוני כי טוב, כי לעולם חסדו. ברוך אתה אדוני, מלך מחולל בתשבחות. Now because we're not physically together for this service, we're not going to do our standard Torah service. So I'm going to chant for us what we would have heard if we were all together. And then I'll do the Haftarah as well, both without blessing and not from the scroll. And then we will have a short discussion about the Torah portion, what we would hear for the morning of Shavuot. So for the first morning of Shavuot for day one, we are reading from Exodus chapter 19, beginning with verse 1. Lachoresh ha-shlishi L'atzeit b'nei Yisrael me'eretz Mitzrayim ביום הזה באו מדבר סיני, ניסו מרפידים, ויבואו מדבר סיני, ויחנו במדבר, ויחן שם ישראל נגד ההר, ומשה עלה אל האלוהים, ויקרא אליו אדוני מן ההר לאמור, כה תאמר לבית יעקב, ותגד לבני ישראל. ואתם ראיתם אשר עשיתי למצרים, ואשא אתכם על כנפי נשרים, ואביא אתכם אליי, ואתה אם שמוע תשמעו בקולי, ושמרתם את בריתי, ואיתם לי סגולה מכל העמים, כי לי כל הארץ. ואתם תחיו לי ממלכת כהנים וגוי קדוש, אלה הדברים אשר תדבר על בני ישראל. Chapter 19, verse 7. ויבואו משה ויקרא לזקני העם, ויישם לפניהם את כל הדברים האלה אשר ציווהו אדוני. 
ויענו כל העם יחדיו ויאמרו כל אשר דיבר אדוני נעשה וישב משה את דברי העם אדוני ויאמר אדוני אל משה הנה אנוכי בא אליך באב הענן בעבור ישמע העם בדברי אמך וגם בך יאמינו לעולם ויגן משה את דברי העם אל אדוני ויאמר אדוני אל משה לך אל העם וקידשתם היום ומחר וחיפשו שמלותם והיו נכונים ליום השלישי כי ביום השלישי ירא אל אדוני לעיני כל העם על הר סיני והגבלת את העם סביב לאמור ישמרו לכם עלות בהר ונגועב בחצהו כה נוגע בהר מות שומה לא תגבו יען כי שמחו יסכם ויראו יראה כי שכו יסכם ויראו יראה אם במים איש לא יחיה במשום היובל המה יעלו בהר. Exodus chapter 9 verse 14. ירד משה מן ההר אל העם, ויקדש את העם, ויחפשו שמלותם, ויאמר אל העם, היו נכונים לשלושת ימים. אל תיגשו אל אישה, ויהי ביום השלישי מיעוד בבוקר, ויהי כל עוד וברקים ונען כבד אל ההר, וכל שופר חזק מאוד, ויחר על כל העם אשר במחניהם, ויוצא משה את העם לקראת אלוהים מן המחנה, ויתייצבו בתחתית ההר, והר סיני אשם כולו מבני אשר ירד עליו ארוני באש, ויעל עשנו כעשן הכבישן, ויחר עד כל ההר מאון. ויהי כה השופר הולך חזק מאוד משה ידבר, ואלוהים יענינו בקרוב. Now for the Haftarah. The Haftarah for Shavuot, day one, comes from Ezekiel, chapter one, beginning with verse one. ויהי בשלושים שנה. ברביעי וחמישה לחודש, ואני בתוך הגולה על נהר קבר. על נהר קבר נפתחו השמיים ואראה מראות אלוהים בחמישה לחודש. היא השנה החמישית לגלות המלך יחויכים. היו היה דבר ארנאי אל יחזקאל בן מוזי הכהן בעץ כסדים על נהר כבד ותהי עליו שם יד ארנאי וערב עיני רוח שערה באה מן הצפון ענן גדול ואש מתלקחת, ונוגעה לו סביב, ומתוכה כעין החשמל מתוך האש, ומתוכה דמות ארבע חיות, וזה מראיהם דמות אדם להנם. ארבעה פנים לאחד ולאחד, כנפיים לאחד להם. לרגליהם רגל ישרה 
וכף רגליהם, ככף רגל עגל, ונוצצים כעין נחושת קלה, וידי אדם מתחת כנפיהם, על ארבעה תריביהם, ולפניהם כנפיהם לארבעתם. כברות אישה אל אחותה כנפיהם, לא יישבו בלכתן איש אל אלה פניו ילכו. ודמות פניהם פני אדם ופני אריה הימים לארבעתיים. ופני אריה אל הימים לארבעתם. ופני שוהר מהשמאל לארבעתן, ופני נשר לארבעתן. ופניהם, וכנפיהם פרודות מלמעלה לאיש. שתיים חוברות איש, ושתיים מכסות את גוויותיהם. לאיש אל עבר פניו ילכו. אל אשר יתגשמע הרוח ולכת ילכו לא יישבו בלכתן ודמות החיות מראיהם כגחלי אש באורות כמראה הלפידים הלפידים היא מתהלכת בין החיות ונוגע לאש ומן האש יוצא ברק. והחיות רצו ושוב כמראה הבזק וערי החיות בעיני אופן אחד בארץ אצל החיות לברעת הנהר. מראה אופנים ומעשיהם כאין תרשיש ודמות אחד לארבעתם ומראיהם ומעשיהם כאשר יהיה האופן בתוך האופן. על ברעת רבעיהם בלכתם ילכו, לא יישבו בלכתן. לגביהן, לגובה להם, ליראה להם, לגבותם, מלאות עיניהם סביב לארבעתן. ובלכת החיות ילכו באופנים אצלם, ובהינשא החיות מעל הארץ, ייגשאו האופנים על אשר ישם הרוח ללכת ילכו, שמה הרוח ללכת באופנים, ינשאו לעומתם כי רוח החיה באופניים. רוח החיה באופנים. מלכתם ילכו ובאדמתם יעמודו ובהינשאם מעל הארץ. הינשאו באופנים לעומתם כי רוח החיה באופנים. ודמות הראשי החיה רקיע כאין הקרח הנורא נטוי על ראשיכם מלמעלה, ותחת הרקיע כנפיהם ישרות אישה אל אחותה לאיש, שתיים מחסות להנה לאיש, שתיים מחסות להנה את גאיותיהם, את גאיות גביותיהם. ואשמע את כל כנביהם כה מים רבים ככל שדי בלכתם כה חמולה ככה מחנה בעמדם תרפנה כנפיהם ויהי כה מעל ורקיע אשר על ראשם בעמדם תרפנה כנפיהם, וממעל רקיע אשר על ראשם, כמראה אבן ספיר דמות כיסא, ועל דמות הכיסא, דמות כמראה אדם עליו מלמעלה. 
ואין חשמל, כמר אש בלה סביר, ממראה מתנב ומעלה וממראה מתנב ומטה, ראיתי כמר אש נוגע לו סביר, כמר הקש את אשר יהיה וענן ביום הגשם, כן מראה הנוגע סביב, הוא מראה דמות כבר אדוני ואראה, ואבוא על פניי ואשמע כה מדבר, ותישא עיני רוח, ואשמע אחרי כה רעש גדול ברוך כבר אדוני ממקומו. So Chag Sameach, everyone. Just like to share a few thoughts, a few words on what we heard and what we're reading for the morning of the first day of Shavuot. So two things stood out to me this year that I haven't really ever put together, but this year they seemed to come together for me in my own thinking. And the first is a Midrash, which teaches us that when God was offering the Torah to the assembled masses of Bnei Yisrael, on the, at the foot of the mountain, that God spoke, according to the Midrash, in 70 languages at once, and each person, each adult, each child, each elder, took in the message in the way that was most true and accessible to them, that everybody was able to hear the message, to take in the message of God, all the things that God was saying, the Torah, in a way that was authentically true to them. And the second thing comes from the Torah portion itself, where we are told that after they've heard the, the, the words of God, after God has spoken to them, that all of a sudden the people go to Moses and they say, Moses, it's too much for us. They're afraid, they're overwhelmed. And they say, Moses, please be an intermediary. And Moses tries to assure them and says, God is choosing you, this is a gift, you're special, you can handle this. And the people say, we can't. And from this point on, this is really the, the, the one and only time that God speaks to the assembled entirety of our people, face to face, so to speak, though not really face to face, but that's, that's as close as we can get to that phrase here. And the people seem to be unable to kind of receive that. And so to me, what was standing out is that perhaps what was so overwhelming is in fact that everybody had been reached, God had spoken to everybody in a way that was most authentic to them. So you might be asking, why would that be overwhelming? Why would God speaking to a way that people understand be overwhelming to them? And I'll offer that there are often times, we all have private parts of ourselves. Parts of ourselves that we may feel uncomfortable sharing, parts of ourselves that may feel too complicated, parts of ourselves that may cause us pain. There are parts of our identity, parts of our life story, parts of just who we are that many of us don't share with just everybody. Even those of us who are incredibly outward going, very social, very you know, extroverted, you might say, there are still private parts of ourselves that we may not share. And when somebody knows kind of our inner truth, the truth of really who we are on the inside, that can be an incredibly supportive and liberating thing. It can also be kind of overwhelming because it can feel very revealing to be known in that truest sense, to have our innermost thoughts, our fears, our secret desires, to have the real thoughts that we hold in our heads and in our hearts known, to have the truth of all of our deepest hopes and desires and fears understood. It's incredibly powerful, but it can also potentially be incredibly anxiety provoking because it could feel, like I said, very revealing. And so for me, what I'm thinking this year is perhaps after the people have stood there receiving Torah, they have all had this moment of incredible connection with God where their truth has been seen. All the inner parts of themselves God saw and spoke to a way that encompassed, encompassed each of them in their entirety. And it was overwhelming because they had never been seen or held or understood in 
in entirety before. And even when Moses says, tries to say to them, everyone, it's okay. It's okay for somebody to know you this way. It's okay for God to know you so completely. The people aren't ready for it. So that is my read this year on these two interesting things that come together, the Midrash and the Torah coming together to paint a picture that I think is actually incredibly touching and incredibly relatable. They have, I can at least only, I can speak for myself, that there have been moments when I have opened myself up to friends and to family, to loved ones, and it has felt so incredibly empowering and welcoming, and I felt so supported and held and loved. And there have been times when I had to, or I wanted to share some part of myself with somebody, and I got anxious beforehand. I was worried, what if they know the truth and they don't like it? What if they see who I really am and they think poorly of me? I'm going to wager that I'm not the only person who's ever had those thoughts. But here we are learning from this Torah portion, from our tradition, that it is okay to be fully known. And especially that God fully knows us, that we are fully seen and understood, and the Torah is meant to connect to us on a deep and true level. So my blessing for all of us on this, the first day of Shavuot, is that we can feel that deep and true, complete connection. That we can feel known and seen and held and true to who we are. I hope that all of you feel seen and held and that you can be truly and holy yourself. And I hope that we can all work together to make our community a place where everyone can feel truly, safely, and joyfully who they are. Chag Sameach, everyone. We're going to continue now back in our Siddur with our prayer for healing on page 61. I invite you to join with me, and while we recite these words, I invite you to think of all of those who could use a Mishabera, a prayer for healing. Mishabera avotenu v'imotenu, Avraham, Yitzchak, Ve'yakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Ve'le'ah, Hu Yivarech et HaCholim. May the one who was the source of blessings for our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, be a reservoir of comfort and support for our loved ones and friends who are ill and in need of courage, hope, and strength. May they experience God's healing presence in the care they receive from doctors, nurses, therapists, and all helping people and God's sustaining love in the best wishes and prayers they receive from family, neighbors, and friends. May all our sick be blessed with a strengthening of body, spirit, heart, and soul, so that they can find purpose, meaning, direction, and love in their lives forever. Let us say, Amen. We also hope and pray that all the doctors, the nurses, the therapists, the aides, the friends, the family, all who are doing the holy work of caring and supporting for another person, that they have the strength, the knowledge, the compassion, the patience, the health and safety that they need to continue to do that holy work. We say again, Amen. We flip ahead to page 70 in our Siddur, 7-0, and we come together for the Aleinu. Aleinu la shabea, la don ako, la tet gidula le tser breshi, shelo asanu pigoye haratso, velo samanu kimishakot adama, shelo sam helkenu kahem, lego aleinu kekolamonam, vanak nu korim.
We continue with Mourner's Kaddish on page 72. I invite all who wish to recite to recite with me. Yit kadal ve yit kadash shemei rabah ve alma divra chir ute ve amlich machute ve chayichon uv yomechon uv chaye de chobet Yisrael ve gala uv izman kariv ve imru amen yehe shemei rabah mevarach le'alam ulalmei almaya Yit barach, vit tabach, vit paar, vit romam, vit nase, vit adar, vit ale, vit halal, shmed kudesha, rihu. La ela mi kol birchata ve shirata, tush bechata ve nechemata, da amiran ve alma ve imru amen. Yehe shlama raba min shamaya, nechaim alenu ve al kol yisrael ve imru amen. O se shalom bim romal, hu ya se shalom. Alenu ve al kol Yisrael ve al kol Yoshevet Tevel v'imeru, Amen. Zichronam livracha. May their memories be for a blessing. We continue with kiddush on the bottom of seventy three. Ve dober Moshe modeir nai al bnei Yisrael. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Boreh priyagafen l'chayim. And as it's the first day of our holiday, we'll say the Shehechianu together. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shehechianu v'kiyamanu v'higyanu l'azman haze. Thank you, dear God, for helping us get to this day and this time. Motzi. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, ha-motzi lechem in Amen. So Chag Sameach, everyone, I wish you a joyous Shavuot. And we will have virtual services again tomorrow morning for the second day of Shavuot. And they will include Yizker, though not the recitation of names. Those will be said at the live services. Chag Sameach, everyone.